associate head athletic trainer at MIT and our staff is responsible for the evaluation, prevention, treatment and rehabilitation of athletic injuries and illnesses for intercollegiate athletes and club student athletes as well. When I was growing up, I played soccer, basketball and tennis. For undergraduate, I went to Northeastern University and got my degree in athletic training. And then for grad school, I went to Boston University and got my degree in sports psychology. What led me to this profession was in high school, I tore my ACL playing soccer and going through that whole process of physical therapy and having surgery and recovering. It just opened my eyes to this profession and I really wanted to get involved to help student athletes, help them recover from their injuries and get back to the sport that they love. What brought me to MIT was the ability to work with a large sports medicine staff, to work with a large athletic department, and really to work under the director of sports medicine, Tom Cronin. I had known him when he was at Boston University when I was um, an undergrad and just the opportunity to work with him was definitely an honor. Some of my most memorable moments of working at MIT are actually seeing the student athletes return to their sport after an injury, to just see their grit and determination and to overcome the obstacles that they have to return to something that they love to do really kind of sticks with me and makes me happy to know I played a small part in that. But if I had to pick one specific event that sticks out as most memorable, it would be going to the final four with the men's basketball team in 2012. My experience of being on the MIT Strong Team to run the Boston Marathon in 2014 was incredible. I had the honor to run for MIT in honor of Officer Collier, the uh, MIT police officer that was killed in the line of duty after the marathon bombing in 2013. And just the love and support that I felt along the course and the pride that I had wearing that MIT Strong singlet is something I hold dear to my heart. Uh, one moment that sticks out and will always stick with me is as it's coming down Beacon Street into Kenmore Square, which is around mile 25 of the course. The entire MIT men's lacrosse team was waiting for me, cheering and high-fiving me as I went past. So just to see their enthusiasm and support for me was amazing. My favorite sports memory is I was actually able to attend game six of the World Series when the Red Sox won at Fenway Park in 2013. Uh, my favorite movie, I actually have several of them, but top of my list would be The Princess Bride and also Some Kind of Wonderful. Some of my favorite music artists are Mumford and Sons, Kings of Leon, Dave Matthews Band, and Foo Fighters. My favorite restaurant is Winslow's Tavern in Wellfleet, which is in the Outer Cape. My dream vacation destination would be the Maldives. Some of the things that I do to relax, before the pandemic, it was going to concerts and Broadway shows. Since the pandemic, it's been reading, having Zoom meetings with friends to catch up that way, working out, reading books, doing puzzles. The favorite place that I've visited was New Zealand. A fun fact about myself is I was born in the blizzard of 78, but now after living through the pandemic of 2020, I'm not sure that I can brag about the blizzard of 78 any longer. And another fun fact is I plan to run a half marathon in every state, and so far I've completed 17 states. There are two quotes that have significance to me, the first being the cure for anything is salt water, sweat, tears, or the sea. And the second is to give anything less than your best is to sacrifice the gift. <laughs>